Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm at Roy Pitcock's BMW dealership in Long Eaton and I'm here to test ride the BMW R1300 GS. So sit back, relax and come along for the ride. So uh, when I rang uh, Pidcox up and uh, asked him if I could go try one of these uh, GS 1300s, um, there's a couple to choose from here. Uh, we've, they've also got the, the triple black one in and they've also got uh, the trophy bike. So I'm going to take the one with all the bells and whistles out today. I've, uh, I've also got Amy here who uh, is going to be my pillion for the day. So she's going to jump on because I think it's always good to get that pillion perspective on the bike as well. Let's face it, these bikes are generally for people to go touring on rather than off-roading on. So I'm just going to do a little test ride today because basically I've had a few people that have said, you want to go ride one of these? I am in the market for a new bike this year. Can this be the Multistrada V4S replacement? Let's go find out. So one thing it is today and that is cold. So uh, yeah, we've decided to go out on this bike. Like I said, this bike is fully loaded. This is the uh, the options 719, the Tramatana bike. So Tramatana meaning cold, dry winds. And uh, that's certainly what it is today. Uh, we've got highs of two degrees, but the sun's out. So uh, let's go take this bike for a ride and uh, see how she handles. Right, first things first. See, I've noticed from the 1250 to this 1300 they've actually changed the on and off button it's now on the the handlebars of the right there so we'll just give that a little press <laughs> So yeah, this bike's got the standard can on as well, but that sounds kind of nice. Right, so here we go. Seriously cool day today, guys. Like I said, two degrees, very, very cold wind. Um, but uh, this is what these bikes are designed for. So it is January 2024. I've been meaning to jump on this bike for a few weeks now. So this isn't going to be an in-depth review. So many electronics on these bikes and there's, uh, there's so much to take in. It's very hard to do it. On a, uh, on a demo ride but we won't be doing loads of miles we're just going to be uh, getting a feel for the bike see what it's like see what the brakes are like see how it handles and uh, see what all the talk's about so yeah first things first get them heated grips on so I put those on before uh, I left the dealership because um, like I said I've got the winter gloves on today and uh, I can feel that wind coming through the visor it is pretty cold first thoughts when I get on the bike it is actually quite comfortable um, I've ridden the 1250 before in fact my dad owns one of those bikes and uh, he was considering chopping uh, it in for this one maybe this review will convince him to change who knows but there's quite a big difference between the two um, this bike is a completely new design and uh, I must admit that's why it's kind of urged me to come and ride this bike because I do like the look of it I feel like the GS is coming to the 21st century so we're currently in road mode just as I've kind of wound the throttle on a bit yeah that bike has got some torque it definitely feels very punchy you're certainly not going to get a lack of power as you did it with the 1250 but there's a little bit more torque and a bit more brake horsepower but I think the thing is with this bike they've also saved quite a bit of weight I think it's something like 12 kilos so just as I'm going round the roundabout there you do feel like it does turn a lot sharper so yeah we're just getting absolutely blown around at the minute I just need to get off this uh, bit of a motorway really so what I will try and do whilst I'm getting absolutely battered is uh, we'll try and raise that windscreen up so I've just been through the settings there I am a little bit of a novice when it comes down to the BMW ones, but you can probably see I've just raised the screen because now it comes with the electric windscreen, which is, which is a nice little touch. I'll just lower it down again so you can have a look. Nice, smooth action. So yeah, the riding position for me is really, really comfortable. The throttle action is really nice and smooth as well. So what I've noticed with the gearbox, it's a little bit crunchy on the uh, on the upshift. And I don't know if that's because it's a new bike or uh, or they're all like that. The blipper on the down is, is, is nice, a lot smoother. Along with the windscreen, I like the fact that it's got these uh, wind deflectors on the side there. 
which just looks like if you don't like them you can just a couple of bolts and they can be off but I personally like them I think they do a, a nice job of just deflecting that wind and I like the fact they're clear as well so you can actually see down towards the curb we're just coming up to a bit of a dual carriageway here where uh, I actually just say road closed but I think they've had some floods around here but it looks like it might be gone now so we'll um, we're in the road mate we're just going to open up a little bit bike actually feels a lot lighter and more nimble like it's a lot smaller than a big 1300 cc engine in it like I say that low down weight is good let's turn right up here I need to just to get out that sunshine a little bit it's a little bit blinding this bike has got an adaptive cruise control it's got radar front and back and it's also got the blind spot indication in the mirrors which is a great feature on these bikes um, I've got used to it in my Multistrada and uh, I'm surprised I've not put it on this bike sooner to be honest uh, but it works really well and I think it's a great safety feature just got an open bit of road again so let's just open her up and Yeah, the power delivery is fantastic! And I'm just going to do the bit of a brake test there. I mean, I've got, I've got Amy on the back, which I keep forgetting. You just don't know you've got a pillion on this bike. So that shifter works better at the uh, the higher revs really you do get a bit of wind noise though on this bike like a bit of a, a whirling i was just trying to work out whether it was the the tire noise or the wind noise off the front but like i said it is a windy day today oh i think the bike handles really really well like i said even with a pillion on you don't feel like you've got somebody on the back it turns nicely Again, that low down weight really helps with this boxer engine. I've just had a big sign tell me uh, to get myself to the petrol station. All right, okay, so we'll just pull over. I'll we'll have a little look, and uh, I'm just going to do a, a couple of couple of brake tests as well with this bike. See how see how good the brakes are. Oh yeah. The screen goes down when you turn the bike off. So far, the bit of riding I've just done on this bike, this bike performed really well. 145 horsepower, 149 newton meters of torque. The 1300 cc boxer engine is a good improvement on this bike. So on the front, we've got twin 310 millimeter discs and BMW have teamed back up with Brembo. So we're going to test this bike in a minute, see how much stopping power it's got. I'm liking BMW's sleek radical change on this GS1300 so it certainly brings it in line with the current market competition. This Tramatana bike with the options 719 is pretty much fully loaded apart from this bike does have the adaptive seat height control. The new headlight suits the design of the bike and the radar system blends in nicely. Are BMW trying to make this bike more appealing to a younger generation at £18,250 plus another £490 for the adaptive height control? It's still a lot of money, although the base price on these bikes is £15,990. For a stock exhaust on this bike, it doesn't sound too bad at all. So I do like the screens on these bikes, um, it's pretty much the uh, standard one which came on the, the 1250 again but uh, it has slightly changed when you put it in sports mode and uh, gives it more of a, a sporty look. What we're going to do is just give it a little bit of a brake test. Just gonna turn the bike around here and like I said it, it feels pretty pretty nimble to be fair for a for a big bike 237 kilo bike um, the turning circle is really good on it so we'll just give it the brake test so what I'm gonna do is just get it up to speed and this is back brake only yeah I mean the the back brake works really well just on its own
Yeah. I mean, that not only does it come to a, a really nice stop, but obviously that suspension works really well. The telelever suspension, it just doesn't mean the bike really dips down on the front end. So we're in dynamic mode now, and I've just changed the screen into the sports one, and I kind of like that, that's looking cool. It's got things like lean angle on there as well, but I don't think we're going to be trying to get our uh, knee down today. So the other thing this bike has got as well, which I believe is an optional extra, is the dynamic height adjust as well. So when you come to a stop, this bike will drop 30 millimetres, taking it from the seat height of an 850 down to 820. So I find it when I come to that stop at 5.9, I've got my feet flat down. I know like on all of these bikes as well, there's so many optional extras to choose from. Uh, it would take you uh, forever to go through the list. But they do do a lower seat on this bike as well, so you can get it down to about 790, I believe. So with it being such a cold day, I've got the heated seat. Amy's got her heated seat on the rear as well. We've got the heated grips on, and there's a nice bit of warmth just coming through the bike now. So yeah, as for the ergonomics on the bike, they suit me really well. Like I said, when we come to a stop, I can get my feet down. I feel comfortable on the bike. Uh, when I raise that screen up, it gives me a reasonable amount of wind protection. There's a noticeable difference in the power delivery as well. Uh, there's plenty of torque there, plenty of grunt, as there always was. Uh, slimming that tank down to 19 litres as well, uh, it doesn't compromise the range, but it, it just makes it feel more, uh, more nimble, sharper in the corners. And I think this 719 edition bike, uh, I don't think you're going to need any more accessories on it. It's just absolutely fully loaded when it comes down to tech and spec. I'd definitely like to spend a bit more time on one of these bikes just to go through all the, the individual settings and have a real proper play with it. But I'll be honest, this bike is a real strong contender for me to change my Multistrada V4S. I was kind of said in my last video, I was kind of warming towards the, the middleweight adventure bike and I'd still be quite tempted to try the BMW 900 GS when they're available. But all in all, this bike doesn't feel heavy, even when you're moving it around. I think with the weight that they've shaved off, it's a fantastic bike. I like the gold spoke wheels and the green. It's a good colour combination. I mean, as you'd expect from BMW, it is an absolute premium bike. And uh, they've thought of everything on this. I mean, it, as I've just been riding it around some of these lanes, I just can't fault the handling on the bike at all. So when you go to put the bike on the centre stand, it's got a motor driven assist there. And that is so easy for such a big bike. Now, I like that. So as always, we're going to get that pillion perspective from Amy. It's really comfortable. Uh, nice to have the heated seat. Um, big seat, lots of space. Um, do feel like I've been sliding around a little bit because it's so big. Um, but I guess if you've got the luggage on, that might be better. So there you go guys, the BMW R1300GS. What a fantastic bit of kit this is. Could this be the Multistrada V4S replacement for me this year? Who knows, the quest will continue. But honestly, I cannot fault this bike. Uh, the short demo ride I've done today, it was a nuts and bolts style review where we're just testing the bike to see what it's like. Hopefully later on this year, I'll give you a more in-depth review on one of these bikes. But so far, this bike, is a premium bike. So I hope you like the video guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a like and I'll see you in the next one.